Hey everybody, I'm Elena. I am here with Mitch. That's me. And we are looking at the HBO Now app. I am subscribed to HBO for the first time in my life. <laughs> I've never, I've always uh, had a borrowed HBO Go account, so now I have like my own, mm -hmm. my own account, mine, yep. Mitch's account on yes. HBO Now. And so if you are like the many other people in this office, including Mitch, who are looking forward to Game of Thrones Season 5 starting on Sunday, um, you, this is one of the ways that you can watch it without a cable subscription. Yes. And I don't have any cable, mm -hmm. but I have HBO. Mm -hmm. And life is good. It costs me 15 bucks a month, but the first month is free. Yes. So when you open this up on iOS, you uh, you just say, hey, I want to be an HBO, Go, uh, sorry, HBO Now member. And it will say, cool, we're going to charge your iTunes account. And just register, fill out this HBO form, and it brings you right to this homepage, which is like a sleeker, faster version of the like grid version of HBO Go, which we can actually jump over and check out here. This is the homepage of Go, now loading. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got like the cards that pop out, so the presentation's a lot fancier, but it's actually a little bit slower. So now is actually a little bit faster, and you can just kind of scrub through exclusive stuff here on the bottom rail with. Uh, Vice and Going Clear at the Jinx, and then movies like Divergent and A Million Ways to Die in the West. Yep, it definitely just does seem a lot faster and it's like sleeker and how it kind of just drops you right in so that if you want to just get started with like their most popular, most premier shows, you can. Yeah, they have all of that stuff right up front and then in the, the side reel here you can go like, oh, I need to watch like the, the uh, this is where I left off with True Detective or I want to start watching The Wire and you can just add stuff to your watch list just like you can on Go or you know regular HBO. And then you can just browse by uh, series, and you can just scroll down this like long, long, long list of superb HBO shows. You can go to movies, and then uh, change via genre, like horror and sci-fi here, or I want a suspense movie. And it's just, it's very quick to navigate. It's got a lot of stuff just there. It's very clear with these like little cards. I like that a lot. And then, you know, every page obviously has like, it's cast and production mm -hmm. information, plot summaries, all that stuff. And then you can watch a preview if you want. Right. So, um, in terms of signing up, right now, uh, HBO Now is restricted to Apple devices ex exclusively. Yes. So, that means you have to sign up through an Apple device. That's an iPod Touch, an iPhone, an iPad, or an Apple TV. Okay. You can watch uh, through a browser once you've signed up through, like, the official app, but you do have to take that step first before that's available. Okay. You also can actually still share your account with other users. <laughs> it's up to, yes. Is there a limit? So uh, there it's is up a, to... It's uh, supposed to be up to three simultaneous users at one time. So if um, I give you my account, you can watch on your Mac and I can watch my iPad at the same time? Yes. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. it's not like kicking you off because I'm watching. Correct. Um, although, given that the first 30 days are free, uh, I wonder if that's their way of trying to get people to sign up so they don't need to do that. Yeah. And so, the, the, you mentioned the deal is like it's three months, right? Right. So the exclusivity only lasts for th uh, three months. So after that time, HBO Now should become available on other platforms. Um, you know, on their website, they even say that you know Android support is coming later. Oh, on. okay. So I assume that's when the ninety days expires. But that does cover the entirety of the first season, or sorry, of the the entirety. The of fifth the season, fifth the new season. season. Sorry. Of Game of Thrones. Thank you. I got you. Thank you. So, and at that point, honestly, you're not actually locked into a contract. So you can actually unsubscribe. Yeah, I mean, just so like you just go into your subscription mm -hmm. menu in your iTunes set or your Apple settings and you just say, like, I don't uncheck. I don't want that anymore. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to pay for HBO anymore. Mm -hmm. And 15 bucks a month is awesome. I think HBO itself is like <laughs> four times more expensive than that or something. Cable subscriptions are a lot more expensive than that, obviously. But right. uh, so have 15 bucks a month for HBO is awesome. Like, it's just, I don't know. I've always loved the variety of things there, like stand up comedy and movies and all this stuff and you can pop in the search and you just this is all this is just so much right. so much um, the other thing too is that if you are you know not down with Apple devices or you just don't want to bother with that and you're already a Sling TV subscriber or we're thinking of it you can actually access HBO now uh, sorry, <laughs> that's bad phrasing. You can now you access HBO <laughs> through go. Sling TV. They just added that as another channel as part of their lineup today. Excellent. And that service is $20 a month. Uh, you do get on-demand access to episodes after they've aired if it's part of like the lineup of what they support. Um, and you can actually access Sling TV through, like, say, you know, your Xbox One. So you're not actually limited to, you know, only, you know, 
handheld devices or like your PC. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's a that's pretty good. That's I mean this is great. Like I love the cableless future where I don't need to have a big provider to give me access to Game of Thrones. <laughs> yep. Perfect. Thank yeah. you, Elena. Uh, we're gonna have a lot more coverage for you on HBO. Uh, apps and shows like uh, Silicon Valley, which airs this Sunday right after Game of Thrones, which we're going to be covering like crazy. Uh, so for all that and more, stay tuned to IGN.